breaking news of Manny Pacman Pacquiao versus Errol Spence in advanced negotiations for July. Now, there's been a lot of interest in developments taking place in the welterweight division. Pacquiao initially was supposed to fight Terrence Crawford. According to reports, Pacquiao even signed his own portion of the contract to fight Terrence Crawford in June in Abu Dhabi. However, the only hiccup that blocked that fight from coming to fruition was the lack of funds, which is the main substance of making a mega fight. And that's exactly why Terrence didn't sign his own portion of the contract because there was no funds. Even if Crawford signed the contract, there will still be no fight. In other words, this have been a big waste of time. Initially, Pacquiao was requesting 20 million to fight Terrence Crawford for the past six years. All of a sudden, the moment Pacquiao team found out that the 20 million is doable, Pacquiao raised his price from 20 to 40 million during the pandemic in order to fight Crawford, which is the major hurdle due to the lack of funds, which only could mean one thing. Terrence Crawford is left with two dancing partners, Sean Porter and Virgil Ortiz, which is most likely what Terrence Crawford is going to exploit. On the other hand, a lot of us were under the impression that Errol Spence was going to fight Ugas next. However, Pacquiao being available is a total game changer, which is why now Errol Spence and Pacquiao are in serious negotiations. ESPN Knockout is reporting that Pacquiao is now negotiating with Spence for a fight that will take place in the summer on pay-per-view in the United States. The negotiations between Errol Spence and Pacquiao are said to be in the advanced stage, according to ESPN Knockout, which this news is a total game changer for many reasons. The fact that two of the major players in the sport of boxing, Crawford and Errol Spence, haven't announced their next fight is completely putting the welterweight division on hold since they move the needle when it comes to boxing. Therefore, if Errol Spence does fight Manny Pacman Pacquiao, it will leave the division right open for other fighters to fight each other, such as Keith Thurman versus Ugas. Mikey Garcia will also be making his return. It might not be against a top welterweight since the division is too deep with deadly fighters. However, the winner of Josh Taylor versus Ramirez, if it happened to be Josh Taylor, the undisputed title could definitely entice Mikey Garcia in. Josh Taylor is another possible opponent for Crawford in the future, which will give Crawford more options to choose from in the future. You have Josh Taylor, Virgil Ortiz, Sean Porter. So once Crawford becomes a free agent, the sky's the limit. We're not even including the other fighters on the PBC roster, like Thurman and Ugas, Errol Spence, so on and so forth. You even have Jamil Charlo as an option for Crawford in the future. And last but not least, if Errol Spence does land the Manny Pacman Pacquiao fight, that's a total game changer. Like I said before, I actually dropped a video on this around eight months to a year ago of Floyd Mayweather critiquing Crawford business decision of signing with Bob or more so re-signing with Bob, which I still stand by them same views. We all can just imagine if Errol Spence does land the Pacquiao fight, what will he be demanding to fight Crawford then? If he's demanding 70-30 split, maybe 80-20, I won't be surprised if Errol Spence stick to that 80-20 demand. After all, Errol Spence is going to have a Pacquiao and then the winner of Thurman versus Ugas, which is no surprise. Errol Spence made it clear as day. He's fighting Crawford last for Undisputed because Crawford is the most dangerous out of the bunch. Now, if you are Crawford, the plan should be to even out the playing field. One way to do so is get a Virgil Ortiz in there, make a statement, get Sean Porter in there, make another statement. One thing for sure, even though Sean and Virgil are not on Pacquiao stardom level, 
they both are still very lucrative fights that could amount to that. Two things for certain, both of these fights are pay-per-view worthy. If I am in Terrence Crawford's shoes, I wouldn't care who comes first. I would prefer Virgil. However, from a business perspective, Sean Porter will be the better route because you fight Sean Porter, maybe take it to Triller. If Sean does petition to take the fight to purse bed, which Crawford will stand to make a whole lot of money and become a free agent in the process since his contract is supposed to be up by October. Once Crawford is a free agent, he could easily go to the zone as a free agent and fight Virgil Ortiz there for around maybe 10 million. And if Crawford is able to do something to Sean Porter and Virgil Ortiz that no one have been able to in the past, like completely dominate them or knock them out, it will create so much buzz. The shock waves will force Errol Spence to be more level headed when it comes to the purse splits back to 55, 45, 60, 40. And one thing unique about Terrence Crawford, it used to be Errol Spence, but now it's Crawford. He's able to stop fighters that have never been stopped before with one punch when he's supposed to be a boxer which is deadly to say the least. Now, on the other hand, Errol Spence, with all the skill in the world, with the dog that he has in him, he must not allow Pacquiao to turn to a venom come fight night. Vada testing have to be on the line, regardless of how lucrative this fight is. Do not make the same mistake one time made, because to me, it's still very hard to believe. Manny Pacman Pacquiao will be coming off more than a two-year layoff to fight Errol Spence. And peep this, he's 41 years old. Nah, something is not adding up. As far as I know, even if Pacquiao fights Mikey Garcia, that's still a dangerous fight. And Mikey is nowhere near the level of Errol Spence. With that being said, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and click on the notification bell to get notified every time I post or go live, and to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace, and I'm on to the next one.